I think, uh... Maybe, like, 60% of what makes this game really awesome is the excellent atmosphere, I would say. Okay, so you are heading out of town, which is all good, because I probably want to build a robot to put there. All right, everything else is going okay. Got a new one about to be born. Could build a robot here, actually. Let's do it. Thankfully, the Starship Graveyard on the surface proved to be a technological treasure trove. But oh, this is a different outcome. Studying the remains of these vessels that has advanced our research in certain fields by several years, and there are yet things to discover. Excellent. Oh, I didn't even... Okay. Well, I guess it probably just gives us engineering research. And yes. It's a plus three engineering research location. Let's go see if there's a place we can colonize nearby. Because these systems are pretty valuable, actually. Okay. Building a robot, which is good. Are you not spawn any more dudes let's see if we can find us a new governor uh, are we technologically incapable of taking these out we are currently so a building guy We already have one, so let's do that, actually. Okie doke, cool. Uh, that creates unity, which is pretty good. It didn't used to do that. Well, there was no unity before, obviously. <laughs> Uh, these guys would be, yeah, we want that for our new colony. Alright, build us a mining station. Use another Corvette. Research complete. Oh, that is in our space, isn't it? Uh, we might want to colonize that, though. Uh, they have declared us a rival. Okay. Synchronized defenses. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's do that rare technology. Complete. Aurelium. Uh, Garathium. Urantic. I think we want Urantic, actually. Because uh, that increases weapon damage for lasers. Which is what we got. 
Construction complete. System survey complete. Got it. We're gonna go ahead and reciprocate. Seven minerals. Yikes. Uh, do we need technology for this? No, we could do it. And the ability is 60%. Probably worth it to get this uh, stuff here and to increase our range. That'll kind of block all the rest of these in. So that would be quite useful. I'm trying to decide if I need another science ship. Habitable planet. I think you can terraform them, though. But we're a ways away from that. Built everything that we can at the moment. Anomaly found. Peck scattering spectrometry sensors indicate the presence of valuable substance beneath Minchir 1C's noxious clouds. Research. Build a robot there. Uh, it's exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are unfortunately of no use to us. However, Science Officer Clandrix believes the many elements in the crust of Menture 1C can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through pos positron bombardment. Uh, the gas Larad Kladat has requests that the Virtual Republic of the Geckos set aside 100 energy credits for the purposes of this project. Uh, sure. Situation log updated. System survey. Mm -hmm. 
Does this block the other resources? Yeah, it does. Can we build a mineral processing plant? Okay. Special project complete. The crew of the gas at Kladat are pleased to report that the experiment was a success. A significant number of dense mineral veins on Minchir 1C have been transmuted into usable resources. Uh, what does that do for me? Uh huh. Okay, so. This, we want to make sure that nobody takes this system because it's extremely valuable. No planets can be colonized though. Uh, it'll probably be a while before this one would be quite big enough. We may need a frontier outpost. Construction complete. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, we can upgrade now. Counted some form of alien vessels. Looks like it is one of the neutral ones. Oh, no. No, that's me. Oh, what is that? That's another civilization for sure. Has learned to carefully nurse her supplies to significantly reduce ship operating costs. That's pretty nice indeed. complete all right
Go ahead and build you a farm. And yeah, we could probably use physics labs. Although blue lasers might be good too. Special project complete. The spaceborne life forms, which the Ge Geik head of society research has come to refer to as Tiyanki, are docile creatures. Capable of accessing some lower dimension of subspace, they roam from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. Highly unlikely to say the least. This is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients is yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Net lost anyway. Tech research option gained. Frequency tuning. Okay. Alright. Do we have any edicts that we can do? From the Arenic Raltech Cooperative. Well met, friends. We are the Arenic. 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 Raltech Cooperative. A nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. Prime Minister Modrig Den Polsch, the current head of our government, has expressed a sincere hope for a lasting friendship between our two peoples. Uh, the way forward lies in our hands. Uh, we actually have quite a lot of robots. So the faction should be pretty pleased, shouldn't it? Signing research treaties with at least three other empires will please the Committee of Technocratic Reform. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, do you... Research agreement, how does that... Uh, do you need some food? Their willingness to trade is a base of 95% due to Federation Builder's personality. Have some food. Uh, are you rivaled? You are not rivaled to our rival. Build a colony ship. Fine gift. You have our thanks. Research complete. 
Okay, do we have any of this? Robotic armory and droid. Improved spaceport. Yeah, let's go with droids. I wonder if you can upgrade robots to droids. Energy siphon. Huh. Interesting. I'll go with that. Alrighty, buddy. Let's get you a mining network. Requires ten pops. Oh, we already we already did upgrade you. Good, good, good. Let's upgrade the farms. All right, we are gonna want one of these because. Of the exceptional mineral quality, may as well take full advantage. Leader skill levels increased by one. Yes. They're giving us two influence now. Research complete. Gravic sensors. Construction complete. Plus the tracking. Uh, let's get some shields. Inactive building, huh? Mm, actually, let's go with the bio lab. There's not much science on this planet, except for here. That's gonna be incredible. Oh, 
Oh, we're good. All right. Let us colonize. Right there. Here's some uh, Batharian power plants. System survey complete. You haven't given us closed borders. Construction complete. We've got a bunch of defense armies here. Yeah, those guys are gonna be really weak, so. Uh, probably wanna save it for robotic armies. faction has recently been gaining traction led by Admiral Gufferl. They call themselves the Gecko Future Vanguard. Assert the privacy of the Gek species by curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. Colonization in progress. want our ruler to be of their species. Uh, we are as a species, asserting dominance. I see. Probably gonna need more ships before that, huh? What would this give me? Probably worth doing. Most of our xenophobes now are going to be in that one faction, and all of our materialists are going to be in the first one that we got, the science one. This is a wood. We should probably build you... a power plant there once we get enough uh, resources yep okay
Ooh, four minerals. Wow. Whoa. Uh, science lab is actually cheaper, so. And how much is a frontier outpost? 152. It might be worth doing just until those borders increase. 